You're watching Lynn TV, your local internet news station from Paphos. I'm Lucy Robson with today's main stories. As the Paphos tourism and construction-based economy struggles under the weight of the financial crisis, SECO, the body of political parties and professional organisations, are meeting with President Christophius this evening to demand state measures for the economy. Paphos district has been hard hit by the crisis, owing to its reliance on the suffering sectors. SECO wants the state to start key infrastructure projects seen as being vital to kick-start the sluggish economy. This week, the Paphos Water Development Department announced that local dams are overflowing or nearly full. State statistics say that 50% of reservoir water in Cyprus is being held in Paphos following heavy rains. The Ministry of Communications and Works has launched negotiations with the second bidder for the multi-euro Paphos to Polis Road project after talks with favoured bidder Generis Consortium failed over financial matters. The Ministry is now negotiating with builder Nemesis and partner Austrian-based Strabag Construction. National News Police have named two suspects arrested in connection with the killing of Cyprus media mogul Andis Haji Kostis. Elena Scordelli, a TV presenter and key shareholder in the media group, was arrested with her brother yesterday. Both appeared in court today and were remanded in police custody for eight days. Haji Kostis, the director of the AS Media Group, was gunned down outside his home in a Nikase suburb on the evening of January 11th. Police are waiting for an international arrest warrant for a sixth suspect who left Cyprus after the killing and is thought to be in Moldova. On Tuesday, a British court made a final decision on the Orams case, ordering the couple to demolish their property in the occupied areas of Cyprus. They must also pay back rent to the Greek Cypriot owner of the land and cover all legal costs. But a Turkish Cypriot politician has said that the administration recognises the house title deeds and that it will not be demolished. And this week, police announced that on-the-spot fines for smoking indoors have been increased to €85 Euros from €34. Euros. The penalty applies to both smokers and the proprietors of the establishment. Finally, the next meeting of the Coalition of Independence in Payer will present an overview of its work during the last three years and discuss plans for the future. All interested residents are invited to attend and share their views during the open meeting. The meeting takes place at the Co-op Bank in Payer on January 25th at 5pm. Well, that's all for this week. John is again on Monday for a fresh roundup of print news. Have a pleasant weekend.